I just rely on what got me there. Parlays, 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 six picks, eight picks, when really I should have took a, per a percentage of that money and do what some of these uh, big YouTubers, sports band YouTubers and analysts are doing. What's up everybody, good afternoon. Welcome to Calculated Shots. Shout out to everybody um, that's new to my channel. I appreciate all the subscribers recently and everybody returning to watch my videos. I'm grateful for it all. We continue with the build. We continue to take calculated shots. Um, I'm at work right now. One of the grinds, one of the streams of income, I use to put a portion into the sports band. I'm sure some of y'all doing the same thing. So, you know, this is part of it. This is necessary. I'm on my lunch break. I said, let me talk to the people real quick, man. Talk to the people. So, to get straight into it today, I just want to talk about bank management, you know, and we just saying bank, you know, we talking about money management, that's all, bank management, how to manage your funds, maybe after you hit a big parlay, or even if you're just trying to build up some capital to switch your strategy, which is kind of the space I'm in right now, so y'all see me hit some good parlays, some long parlays, I've hit like some six picks, eight picks. I haven't gotten into a lot of one twos, one picks, two picks. And I think I made a mistake along the way just to give y'all an insight on my sports band journey. I started in um, late November, early December. I think I mentioned on another video, late November, early December. Anyways, I'm just infatuated with parlays, to be honest, which, you know, a lot of people on YouTube and some of them other guys, they're against that. And I understand why. I do understand why it will drain your money if you fall in love with them and you don't do the proper research and you're not um, over analyzing like I do. Like I'm, my studying is crazy. So I do like the parlays a lot. And where I hit the fork in the road, I feel like I made a mistake was I hit a couple big parlays. And what I'll do after I say like my best night was a four grand night of 30 bucks, I put up. I believe like 35, 3,600 bucks immediately. Send it to my bank, gone, can't see it, right? And my mentality was this remaining um, 400, 500 bucks, 500 bucks on here. I'm gonna, you know, treat this money like it's my only money to my name. And I'm gonna build this back into, I'm just gonna, you know, make this multiply. And I went about the strategy. It was a good mentality behind the strategy, but it was a poor strategy, I meant to say, because all I did was I did so many parlays, long shots. Um, I shot off some laser, lasers, which I was talking to one of my YouTube people and I told them lasers are nothing but like parlays, $10, $10 parlays, and I changed like one iffy game. So it has a different outcome on one parlay than the other game, than the other parlay, but the same picks except maybe one dip, one game difference, maybe two game difference. And that was the most iffy game on my parlay. So I shoot a couple lasers off. I did a bunch of um, long picks, man. And I won't, and they were all studied, you know, I always study, but I should have converted some of my strategy to one picking and two picking with that money. Cause I easily could have took some of that 500 bucks and put a hundred down on two picks and, and slow grind, slow build. And the thing about that strategy is you can also do that with 10, 20 bucks to start you know if the odds are good enough and games are favorable enough and you do the right studying which there's always a couple favorable games you just have to nitpick and study and find them and they might be in different sports like i said on another video they might be in different sports than you're used to so you got to get used to studying different sports i know some of y'all not into hockey but there are favorable games that you can't make money off of in hockey some of y'all are not into soccer some of y'all not in the nba but there are favorable games that you can make money off of so I would advise you if you're really trying to make some money in sports betting to branch off into different sports and, and get used to studying some and understanding the rules. But um, I could have had a better strategy after I hit some of my long, longest, best parlays where I had a surplus of money and I just rely on what got me there. Parlays, 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 six picks, eight picks, when really I should have took a, per a percentage of that money and do what some of these uh, big YouTubers, sports band YouTubers and analysts are doing and one picking and two, two picking and putting that money down, 200 bucks, 300 bucks. 
And when I talk things like that, I'm not encouraging anybody to increase what you're already spending on your sports band. I will always encourage you to have uh, regards to your own finances and treat them accordingly. That's very important. You know, what the next person betting has nothing to do with what you're betting and vice versa. So don't get lost in me saying, you know, bet. Um, I, I would have liked to bet 200, 300. I'm just saying, I seen I had a surplus of, mo of money and next time I get to that point, I'm going to switch my strategy some and it will be a lot of one picking, two picking. I also might do some where I show y'all along the way how to build bank um, from one picking, two picking and it will be like a slow grow process. It will be a journey, but you can do some of that same strap. You can use the same strategies that those YouTubers and analysts are doing at a smaller scale. And yes, it will take you longer to build up your capital, but you will build up your capital, most important. Um, and you'll have days you lose, but the days you lose will get minimized because we're one picking, two picking along the way. And we're taking our double up. We're taking, um, you know, we're taking that 20 into 35 bucks, that $15 profit, we're taking that 35 into $60 profit, and you slow build that way. That's very possible. So let's say I was starting that one pick, two pick strategy, and I start with 20 bucks, something simple as 20 bucks on two games. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it no more than two games when I'm doing um this strategy. So one pick, two pick. I would whether let's say my two pick twenty dollars brings me back thirty five bucks, forty bucks, and that hits clean the next day. I might bet that same twenty back. Not might me personally. I'll bet that same twenty back. I'm not gonna bet the whole thirty five forty. What I made, I bet that same twenty back, and find me another two pick that I am overly confident in, right? And then I will keep doing that until I have three times or four times my initial investment back in profit so in that case twenty dollars so by the time i get to let's say 80 bucks profit and i could still bet my 20 daily and i have 80 bucks profit then i might branch off and you know add a game or two and do a ten dollar or twenty dollar four pick that day and um, it makes my strategy some, but at the core of it, I'm still doing my $20 two pick daily or $10 two pick daily and taking that, you know, 10 is gonna profit you a little less, might bring you back 25, but you profited 15 bucks and you, you, you invested 10, you know, that's great. So there are games that you can two pick your way all the way up, one, two picks, but it's harder when you don't have the proper capital. When I had the capital, I could have handled it way differently, but of course, there's lessons learned over along the road. I never said I was a master. I do feel like I'm pretty seasoned with sports betting and I'm getting better. Now I know when I have, I hit any kind of long parlay again, you know, I don't have to get lost in in uh, parlays like I do, because I feel like I can hit them. You know, that's why I get lost in them. I know I can and I have long ones. So. You know, one pick, two pick strategies are fine. You find, you study, you find you two lock games, you put 10 or 20 bucks down and you do you take what you make and you do that the next day. You don't have to have multiple bets going on. Take your profit for the day. You profited 25 bucks for the day. You know, you have 40 now, you bet 15, you have 40 now. Now you can come back and bet that 15 again. If you lose, you have a crutch because you still have some profit from the day prior. And you minimize your losses like that. You have a way better chance, astronomically better chance of hitting a two pick, one pick than a, a parlay. And I'm a parlay guy, I do like them, but just being honest with y'all. So I would, uh, managing my money off that one pick, two pick system, I would get to a point of where I four times my profit, whether that took me four days or whether it took me three, however long, I four times my profit. And then from there, I might add in a game. I might, I was betting 20, I might bet 10 now and make it a six pick, you know? Cause in turn, if there's enough games and they're favorable to you, you can find two more games. And now that's a lot of four pick that you have complete conviction in. And then two more games. If you can find enough like that, that you feel that way in and uh, that you feel that way about and make a six pick. And then you can slowly bleed your way into having a system, and in this case, the system would be a two pick, 
after you built your capital sum, maybe every four days you, you hit your profit mark, now you switch your strategy sum. A two pick system, right, every day. And then you can have a parlay system every day where you might do 20 bucks on your two pick system and 10 bucks, 10 bucks on your parlay, which is something I've been doing recently. Um, it hasn't been two picks, but it'd be 20 bucks for me personally on like a four pick, four pick to six pick that I'm very confident in. And I think I might decrease that. I'm always tinkering. I'm always trying new stuff. I think I'm going to decrease that down to two picks. And then I do my parlay $10 long shot every day, you know, and that's just a system for y'all. So I have a two, two picks that I'm very, uh, that I overly studied in the highest conviction. And I'm these two picks and I'm, the mind frame is that these two picks will bring me back some money. These are going to hit regardless is how I'm feeling, how I picked it, how I studied it. And then my parlay is if all goes well. And I studied all those games also. So, you know, the perfect day for me or for you in that situation would be everything hitting the two pick and the long shot. That's called a roundhouse for all my gamblers. Sweep the table. Everything's mine. You know, that's the best possible scenario. So bait management is important. I could have been better. Uh, when you get to a point and you got some funds, you there will come a time where you probably should switch your strategy of whatever you're doing because of how much capital you have at the time affects what you can do and maybe how you should do it. So I'm just giving y'all a couple of thoughts on bait management, um, a one-two pick system, and how you could maybe intermix it and take you know a long shot and a two pick you know every day if it's within your own finances. So just keep that all that in mind. You know, you can always ask me any questions if I wasn't, you know, clear on anything. If I didn't clarify well, I appreciate y'all tuning in as always. Calculated shots. I'm out of here.